Good morning, afternoon, or evening. My name is Derek. I work at the Tyler Museum of Art. Did you know that we celebrate Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, every year? And can you tell that I study French and not Spanish in college? I do a lot of cool things at the museum. Um, one of the coolest things I do is I help take care of our Mexican folk art collection. And today I thought I would pull some of my favorite pieces that relate to Day of the Dead and show them off a little bit. This is vanity. Can you tell why? She's made of terracotta. She's holding calla lilies, which are not uh, typical um, Day of the Dead flowers, however, they symbolize uh, the Virgin Mary and rebirth. This little guy is called Devil with a Trident because, you know, that's what he is. He's made out of metal. And to give you an idea of how tiny he is, there is my coffee cup. This is called Family on a Skull. It's made out of paper mache. It was made about 1986. There's the whole family. And there's some little guy sneaking up behind them. And now you can see why it's called Family on a Skull. Here is the devil on the back of a malevolent spirit. There's the devil. And there's the spirit. It's made of paper mache, made around 1993. Here's a very tiny mausoleum made out of wood. See what's going on inside. It's pretty much a party. There are musicians, uh, returning dead, and a little fountain in the center. If I pull back, there's my coffee cup. You can tell what size it is. These are skeleton acrobats carved out of one solid piece of cedar from the state of Mexico. Not Mexico City, but the state of Mexico. Back up. This is called a skeleton rider on a horse. See his horse is also a skeleton. And down here is a woman and she's also a skeleton. Come around here to the back, and there's her little baby skeleton. This is a revolutionary soldier, made about 1990, represents a soldier from the Mexican Revolution. We know right there on his rifle it says Zapata. Zapata was one of the leaders of the revolution. This is called the Wheel of Fortune and since it was made in Mexico City in 1985 I'm going to assume it has nothing to do with the American game show. If we come around from this side you can see that it's the Ferris wheel. If I wanted to, I could take that handle and turn it, and the Ferris wheel would spin. I'm not going to, though, out of the name of conservation. You can see the little figures, though. They're kind of swaying in the, in the uh, wind. The whole thing is very kinetic, which means there's a lot of movement. Here 
is a very buggy skull. Don't know much about it except that it's made of terracotta and painted with acrylic paint. Right on this side, you can see my coffee mug. It gives you an idea of the size of it. Coming in this way, you can see the bugs and the little frogs. The thought of a skull with bugs coming out of it could be a terrible, horrific thought. But in this case, it's sort of a happy, more like a carnival. This is something very special. It only comes out for special occasions like sharing with you. This is a sugar skull made around 1990. It's made out of 100% sugar. It's decorated with uh, tissue paper, small plastic uh, shapes, icing. Extremely fragile. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little look at our Mexican folk art collection. Um, we have 654 pieces in the collection, um, and unfortunately, I was just able to show you a few of them, but the cool thing is they related to Day of the Dead. Uh, check back regularly, and I might be able to show you more. Thanks a bunch. Bye.